How is mama drama trauma different from other traumas? Trauma is a soul disassociation caused by an extreme experience of abandonment and or abuse. The resulting trauma is perceived as an ever-present pain body triggered by external stimuli such as a memory, a person, or situation. As these activating factors are unavoidable, traumatized individuals self-medicate through addictions to chemical and mind-altering substances in an attempt to silence the stimuli and avoid the pain. MDT is different from other traumatic disorders because it is the mother of all trauma. For more information about Mama Drama Trauma, visit mamadramatrauma.info. Welcome Aries Moon people to your March New Moon reading. This is your moon sign reading. Moon sign reading is all about your moon sign that you were born with this the sign that the moon was in when you were born and this is an indication of what inspires solar action so you have your sun sign and we talk a lot about the sun sign and our personality the soul personality we don't talk a whole lot about the inner world of the soul which is where our emotions and our intuition reside all that which inspires us to act and so that's what these readings are about it's great mother energy that internal energy that still small voice of the holy spirit great father energy is the energy of the sun and of course the sun is in the opposite side of the earth during the new moon um I'm sorry, the sun is on the other side of the moon <laughs> during the new moon. And it is kind of like a love making type of energy between Great Mother, Father, God, actually, that is blocked out uh, by the moon, by Great Mother, uh, which is why we don't see the sun. And so this love making energy is a gestation energy. It's an inception energy. It's an energy that is a um, life creating energy and so it has to do with planning it has to do with uh, establishing wishes and desires and we use the Western as well as the sidereal astrology to decipher the signs and the symbols through these cycles phases and our chakras from great mother to determine what we are emotionally feeling and that is from the western astrology so you are western aries moon sign from the tropical astrology earth centric ego body astrology and in your sidereal you are pisces more than likely which is the intuitive sense of the soul that is where the energy from where the ego downloads intuitive knowledge unction that still small voice the Holy Spirit and so more than likely you are Pisces some of you may be Aries in the sidereal as well you want to check the links below and see which reading resonates best with you remember these readings are designed for empaths intuitives and highly sensitive people uh, who are the people that I work with in my life coaching to heal mama drama trauma a condition in which the mother projects unhealed aspects of herself onto her child causing emotional and or physical trauma these cards are based on the 49 scenes of the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy is the poster child of Mama Drama Trauma, which is why Great Mother downloaded this story to me to create this deck for those healing from Mama Drama Trauma, those who are most alienated and estranged from her loving energy as a result of their birth life experience. Now for Aries Moon people, this is a masculine Yang energy, Aries energy. Aries is an energy that is now 
operating with Pisces, Aries, lunar energies with 12th house, first house energies, major transition from your astrology astrological houses the 12 houses back into the first house and so you have undergone a major transformation and you are uh, arriving at your first house from your uh, Aries cusp energy this Pisces Aries in the Western astrology is first house energy uh, for Aries moon sign and so on an egoic level you are really refining revising who you are uh, your attitude, your uh, perspective uh, on yourself and on life. And the recent past that has created this has been a embrace and understanding of the law of destiny and free will. The law of destiny and free will is a law card of the deck. All law cards are great father cards. The law, the logos, the word. This is the single yin double yang card. It's a fifth chakra card which has to do with speaking, communication. You've been communicating with people or someone has been communicating with you. Fifth chakra is always reminding me of the ear, nose, and throat doc so we hear smell we, we speak from this energetic area within us and the law of androgyne recognizing the yin yang primal energies within us and within all things most recently you have been very resonant with this energy you have been wanting to express yourself very clearly there has been a new level of self-expression there has been a new level of self-awareness and there's been some reflection about it some very conscious active reflection as indicated by the double yang symbols we see that as a result of this recent reflection of this new evolutionary angle, this new evolutionary cycle that, you, that you're in, you are at a crossroads. Hakati is the crossroads card uh, in the deck. It is a fifth chakra crescent moon card. So we see already that there is some fifth chakra energy, some mercurial energy that has to do with, on a soul level, this Piscean soul level, which has an Aquarius new moon at this particular time we're talking about this 12th house energy so there's still some closure that needs to happen there's still some endings that are happening with regard to where the soul is right now in terms of this new uh evolutionary path this this cycle coming to an end it hasn't quite come to an end on a soul level the ego feels it of course the ego jumps forward with the yang energy the soul is still marinating it's still integrating and what it's integrating aries moon people is the knowledge that there are some challenges with regard to communicating your needs to people in a way that honors who you know you are and what you know you have to offer the war world. There is some resistance right now to you actually owning your gifts, your talents, your abilities, you actually owning what you know intuitively remember this is a pisces aries cusp new moon in the western and so you have this new identity coming and so it, it's probably because it's new to you it's probably because it's fresh to you it's probably because the soul is still closing out the tabs on the previous astrological cycle and by astrological cycle that is exactly what is meant it is meant by your particular cosmic calculus your soul's journey through the astrological houses one through twelve and so for you as a collective celestial unconscious group, you are finishing out a cycle, but there is this misalignment between the ego and the soul that has to do with this crossroads and this crossroads is a uh, over anxiousness. Maybe there is an anxiety that the ego has because the soul hasn't quite completed what it needs to complete, hasn't quite integrated what it needs to integrate from the previous evolutionary experience. The ego is ready to go. The ego is ready to express its free will. Uh, it's ready to align this um, yin-yang energy. But the soul is really kind of caught in a situation where it's it, it, it feels threatened um, if it does jump ahead. It, it feels like it needs to make a deal in order for things to operate uh, in a smooth manner but there is no deal to be made 
Um, and so on a soul level, there may be some apprehension uh, because um, there's no deal to be made. Twelfth house is the end. It's it, it, it's over. The the, the 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 situation is done. The value of the twelfth house and why it's associated with isolation and alienation is because we need time to integrate things. We are imprisoned. We are hospitalized. That twelfth house is usually associated with those circumstances because we do need an opportunity to integrate everything that we've learned. And so that's where you are. But the soul is kind of uncomfortable with that. And let's see why the soul is uncomfortable with that that's what you're intuiting and so you're wanting to jump ahead you're wanting to just go ahead and say okay let's go <laughs> and um that's typical aries moon energy but with this pisces aries moon it's a cusp and so it's not full aries that's going to allow you to jump forward um and especially because in the sidereal the moon is in aquarius and so on a soul level of uh, the soul again is, is still in that 12th house energy of aquarius now the nakshatra of peter Adravad is a nakshatra people are born in that um are very versatile they're very intelligent they're good teachers they're good researchers and so this energy that's supporting you in this new moon to move forward, to um, express yourself with integrity, without selling out, without giving up more of what of who you are, what means something to you, um, is integrity. You know, it's it, what's coming through from great mothers that it's really important for you to tell yourself the truth about who you are now you are not who you were this time last year or even this time last month we've had some eclipses since the beginning of this year we've had a total lunar eclipse and we've had a partial solar eclipse so if you have Pisces North Node for example this might be a challenging time for you because what you are being asked to do at this new moon is to surrender not to surrender in terms of giving up but to allow yourself to be guided by your inner truth it's very important that you allow yourself to integrate what you have learned from your previous cycle. And you do have new truths, Aries Moon people. You do have new insights. You do have uh, new ways of seeing things. You have been made aware of uh, who you are now as opposed to who you were in the past. And that needs to be acknowledged first and foremost by you. The challenge in doing that is that there are some aspects of yourself that are new that you are judging as wrong. And that's the problem with judgment and condemnation. As the dearly loved children of the great mother, father, God, we are never judged or condemned or left alone. So that's what's so important about embracing our divinity and why those principles are so important for this channel is because when we see this card come up, this crescent moon, third eye card, we know that it doesn't have anything to do with something that we've done wrong, but it has everything to do with how we are judging ourselves as having done something wrong or being something wrong. And to take a minute, take a beat, and look at that, not with our outer eye, but with the inner eye, with the inner eye. What is it that we are judging ourselves about? And from an um, from a Pisces perspective, with your Pisces moon in the sidereal, I've been saying Aquarius, it's Pisces moon, I apologize. Um, the moon is in Aquarius, so that's probably what I've been saying. The moon is in Aquarius in the sidereal, your Pisces more than likely uh, moon sign in the sidereal. You wanna check the links below on that. Particularly with the soul Pisces moon sign, there's an avoidance of anything that you you can't control and we cannot control our shadows our shadows are things that we would rather not acknowledge they're inconvenient truths or things that we'd rather other people not know um, they're just not things that we bring up in a uh, pleasant conversation. They're aspects of ourselves that we'd rather avoid, uh, let alone admit. And that's all because of judgment. 
aligning with great mother energy, aligning with soul energy, aligning with your soul Piscean energy, Aries moon people, will allow you to accept and surrender to the spiritual awareness, the mystical awareness, the psychic sensitivities that you have and learn to trust it as opposed to shoving it under the rug okay that is a tendency because we do want to jump forward don't we aries moon people and we want to jump forward in a linear fashion we want it to be rational we want it to make sense but what happens is that because the soul is incarnated as us and we do as ego beings have free will we don't have to align with our soul you know, we can just operate off the pure fumes of this physical life and just ignore all of that intuitive psychic stuff and through which kind of sell ourselves out, you know, kind of uh, allow circumstances to take over and feel as if we're in control. And that's the shadow nature of Pisces the shadow natures of the soul so to speak and the soul is really needing the help of the aries moon ego energy emotional energy to kind of rescue it from this 12th house you know 12th house is about endings but it's also about healing healing is making something whole again and with regard to great mother energy th this is healing the ego soul alignment um the, the the closure that needs to happen is something that you already know you already know that you need to leave a situation behind that is causing you grief you already know that in order for you to do that you need to connect more with nature and with your own nature which is this soulful very psychic very intuitive nature you may not know how to do that that might be what the resistance to the integrity is about you might be getting downloads all the time we know that this is a balsamic moon card a fourth chakra balsamic moon card heart chakra is the crossroads between the ego and the soul and so you, you you're already aware of that which is why you know there's this thrust to move forward this crossroads uh that you're at uh this is the scene in the wizard of oz when the wicked witch of the east is trying to take the ruby red slippers from dorothy in her castle where she has her trapped but is shocked in the attempt so whatever it is that you're trying to avoid Aries Moon people that is a expression of your androgyne nature, your primal yin yang nature, it's not working and it's not going to work. Um, and even though someone might be trying to take a gift away from you or to claim that you don't have the gift, you're not intuitive, you're not empathic, they're, they're going to be shocked in the process to find out that you truly are. And you will probably be shocked in the process too because <laughs> you're dancing with this energy of Ishtar, which is all about us not accepting our gifts, talents, and abilities as being worthy of their pay. We're all prostitutes in that uh, it is the oldest profession on the planet because we all have to give something of ourselves in order to survive in the material world. What happens with the second chakra full moon card, Aries moon people, is that we are not in touch with our true desires and that is fully illuminated through how we invest our energies, through how we see ourselves. That's that first house uh, energy of this Aries moon on the cusp, Pisces Aries moon. Now full Pisces moon, again, that's 12th house energy, even on an ego level with the Aries moon, that Piscean new moon energy is a dark moon. And so this is the full moon. And so the full moon opposes the dark moon and that the dark moon is where the moon and the sun, great mother, father, God are getting it on, creating. Um, the full moon is where there's the birth, okay, that's come to fruition and the birth the reality has come forth of what has been inseminated and so what is coming forth is that there is a struggle that you're having with 
your value with who you are and that's probably why you're willing to give up your gifts your intuitive gifts your psychic gifts um, this is being brought up by great mother because without you using your gifts to their fullest and without you owning them you're you, you feel helpless you know you feel um, like you can't fully express yourself your destiny um, that you're hiding something that other people they might know and it might be a shameful thing but it's kind of an unspoken thing and you're ready to get out of that you're ready to get out of that and she says that some of you ha already have broken free of that energy and you have already been rewarded energetically that was such a release for you to allow yourself to integrate your intuitive abilities that you have really really come to the rescue of your soul and you've aligned with it and you've healed you have uh, experienced the closure that your soul needed to experience from the previous cycle and you're really just kind of in this holding pattern for the spring equinox but others of you she's coming through and she's saying don't worry your reward is coming mercury is about to go retrograde and for you this is going to be about researching revising reevaluating uh, uh, really getting in touch with those intuitive downloads in a way that you're going to test them and that's the primordial father energy the primordial father energy springs from the black hole of the primordial mother energy that inspires the action to manifest I was reading in the paper last week that there has been uh, evidence uh, in the cosmos of the original Big Bang and it's still playing itself out and so if we think of ourselves as the culminating results of that initial energy that great mother father got getting it on in the darkness and everything has sprung forth from it in this full moon fashion we can see that we have free will choice with regard to how we use the energy everything is still spewing and skewing and stewing forward and we're a part of that forward motion and so everything is still in a very malleable stage what's in the center of your reading is that you do expect to open yourself up this lunar season you do expect to go forward you are in that forward energy aries moon people and you are expecting to move forward and aren't you glad that you're watching great mother's giving you some clarification some balance and some confirmation about what that angst is about and moving forward and how to do it in a way that serves you this is that heart chakra energy that alignment that heart alignment between the ego and the soul that crossroads and this is in the waning gibbous moon phase sharing and thanksgiving from the full moon so from this awareness of how to shift your energy from not being honored for your gifts and your talents and abilities your unique yin yang expression and feeling like you need to sell yourself out and getting in alignment with your truth aren't you glad that you're watching this that you are shifting that feeling of unworthiness to hey I'm going to share my energy in a way that honors me I'm going to exchange a part of myself for resources in my life in a way that honors who I am I'm not going to be selling myself short I'm going to embrace Embrace my shadow whatever that is it may be something very very valuable that I bring to the table that such as my psychic abilities such as my mysticism and hey even with this new moon with Peter Adrabad it is strengthening my psychic abilities and benefic qualities that I have toward reading toward doing astrology toward um, being a good teacher and my intelligence have faith in your abilities it's going to be buoyed by this new moon this is the scene in the Wizard of Oz when Dorothy and the three ask their wishes and Oz tells them they must bring him back the witch's broom to which the lion promptly jumps out of the castle window and so even though you are anxious even though there's all this emotional stuff going on underneath you know that there is a reward for you and that by moving forward by being open to what's available to you you're going to get what you need even though it might be a little scary even though you might need to jump out of a window <laughs> 
<laughs> to get it all out. Um, you're going to because you're going to go all out. You're going to own your beauty. You're going to let go, in other words, of anything that's preventing you from doing that at this time. And this is, in fact, the scene when Dorothy destroys the witch and turns to the witch's guards in the castle and says, may I take the broom? So taking your power back, that broom, that phallic symbol, is what this is all about, Aries Moon people. This throat chakra, this expressing yourself. This is your third throat chakra card. Okay, and so you're ready to do that with integrity. You're ready to do that balancing the energies from your previous soul evolution through the houses. Your wheelhouse at this time is your first house. And so Great Mother is saying, you know, don't be scared. You have gone through an evolution. You've learned a lot about yourself. Yes, it's new. Yes, you're trying on your new self. And yes, it may seem strange and other people might not understand. Hey, you might not fully understand who you are anymore. But like this first quarter moon root chakra card says, you do understand from which your strength comes. And this is the scene in the Wizard of Oz when Dorothy sings somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. There's a place that I've heard of once in a lullaby. That imagination, inner joy, trust in your psychic abilities, that they are there to support you, not to hurt you to give you the guidance and the grounding that you need in your new identity. As a result of working with the energies in that way, in this way where you are refocusing yourself to say, hey, I am going to share myself in a way that honors my integrity. I am owning my beauty. You know what? And as a result of not buying into the fear, but connecting with my soul strength, my Piscean soul strength, ending that cycle with honor and with thanksgiving, I'm going to acknowledge that I may be feeling this alienation from this download from my soul, from this 12th house. And it has nothing to do with others. It just has to do with me ending a major cycle of my life. And sometimes I need to be alone in order to do that. Pisces new moon energy is the best meditative energy. It is the absolute best best yoga energy it is bar none the energy that you want to totally heal anything that has to do with toxicity any like blockages in your lymphatic system in your energy body at all it's piscean energy it's energy that is neptunian energy in the west and it is jupiterian energy in the sidereal it is very bountiful it has it scales our emotional and intuitive depths in such a way that this is a new moon root chakra card that it reconnects us it regrounds us with the reality of our soul divinity. This is the first scene in the movie when Miss Gulch comes after Dorothy and Toto. And she's like, why is this woman coming for me? I can't get a break. What is this about? I've, I've been orphaned. I got my little dog. And now here this woman's coming trying to take care. I mean, what? And there may be some feelings of that, which is why there may be some fears. But Great Mother is saying, hey, I gave you your mama and Toto. You need something else? You know, somewhere over the rainbow, you have been reborn and you don't even know it. But you know it now. You know it now in this balsamic fifth chakra moon car. This balsamic moon fifth chakra car. Fifth chakra again, third quarter moon that comes right before the fifth chakra balsamic moon card. So the law of free will 
The law of destiny and free will is all about being born twice within one life. And some of us are born three and four times, especially if you have mama drama trauma. You're born into a birth family with that experience. Then you're healed or either you go deeper into the muck and mire of the mama drama trauma, recreating the cycle. And so you bring a life into the world that creates that cycle again. And you are either get to the point where you're ready to be reborn from that, which I call being ready, willing, able, and available to live in loving detachment, which allows you to express that fifth chakra energy. Your divine expression, who you really came here to be. None of us came here to be wounded. None of us came here to struggle our entire lives. Mama drama trauma is not a life sentence. Nothing is. We are always being regenerated through that cosmic inception, through the cosmic inception of the new moon. And so some new moon wishes for you might be that I want my psychic abilities activated. You know, I want to feel more compassion. I want the tendency to uh, judge myself and others prematurity totally lifted from me. Okay, having to do with embracing that shadow, embracing all of who you are so that you can receive the downloads you need to be reborn in ways that really do align with who you are in real time today. And by doing that, you're going to see beyond the illusions that currently exist as you're watching this video. You're going to be released from that in this new moon period, Aries moon people. And you're going to be released from that so quickly, so easily, and so effortlessly, you're not going to even remember this reading. That's the power of working with Great Mother Energy. We have Venus conjunct this Mercury retrograde with this uh, Pisces Aries uh, cusp moon. And it's a very powerful uh, yin yang energy that's going to allow you to release that 12th house resistance that. Um, that, that, that kind of inertia that the soul is having with this Aquarius uh, new moon. It's ruled by Jupiter, this uh, Aquarius um, nakshatra, Peter Ajabad, and so it really amplifies whatever's going on with the soul energy. And so the soul energy in Pisces with this is kind of amplified with this 12th house kind of. Um, uh, resistance, this uh, inertia to moving forward. But I think that with what Great Mother is saying to you, by the full moon, you can expect that you will be fully expressing your new identity. You will be fully, perhaps even in your attitude and in your, your behavior, not only having closed out a previous idea and a representation of yourself you may look completely differently in a couple of weeks uh you may get a major makeover or um i mean your attitudes will shift so drastically that people will be surprised and, and, and actually note it and say you did what you said what i never knew you felt that way to which you can basically say i didn't I, now I realize that I feel this way and in the past I may have been X, Y, and Z but now I totally embrace my sensitivity. I totally trust the awareness that's coming up for me right now and it's telling me that I need to X, Y, and Z. It's really telling me that I need to trust that um, this is what's best for me right now and this is what I'm feeling. And this is what I'm wanting to share. Okay, this openness is in the center of your reading. And so that is what lets us know you're completely open and the heart chakra is ruled by Venus. Okay, in the sidereal. So we have that soul support 
and that soul unction that you're feeling with this inertia that you are being aligned with what's going on about all of that in this reading for your outcome to be a complete awakening when we see beyond the veil we are empowered to embrace the reality of what is and by doing that our gut chakra becomes a very refined tool of insight not just for survival but as an alignment tool as we see with the antenna through the gut chakra here that connects to the third eye see the antenna there that's the connection the gut chakra the third and the sixth chakra so with this new moon we're seeing that there's an opportunity to see beyond the illusions that have been created about you not being worthy or ready to accept your gifting and now with great mother coming through and saying hey that's a shadow part of you to look at and with you looking at that and some of you already have and you've received some energetic rewards energetic rewards or you feel lighter you don't feel the blockages anymore you're moving forward in your life easily and effortlessly or at least with a lot less resistance and you're open in a way that you're excited your heart is open even though there may be a little nervousness it's actually good nervousness and through that process you're being reborn because that extra energy allows you to release that fear by connecting over the rainbow Pele the Mayan goddess of the volcanoes awakening through the fire of awareness this is the scene when Dorothy meets Glenda who symbolizes great mother she meets her in Munchkin land where she promptly asks her who are you the munchkins want to know are you a good witch or a bad witch you will know by the next crescent moon which is right after the next full moon which will be in Aries your moon sign happy lunar new year your lunar new year video will be posted shortly about your lunar year it's from your new moon and your new moon in Aries will be right before the next crescent moon and the next crescent moon will be a period in which you will be seen beyond the veil of the Aries new moon that dark moon into who you truly are and what is the difference between a good witch and a bad witch a bad witch uses her power to control a good witch uses her power to heal in accordance to what ego soul alignment needs are at the time this gut chakra is ego and so right now your ego is aligning with what your soul needs which is to release the previous evolutionary cycle Thank you so much for watching Aries Moon people. I hope that has been helpful for you with regard to this March new moon. And your second quarter readings will be coming up for April, May, and June as we move into the latter stages of this eclipse season. You want to look at your north node and your south node in preparation for uh, the upcoming eclipse readings in July and August as we close out the season North Node Leo South Node Aquarius and North Cancer and Capricorn in the sidereal a uh, lot of information to support your emotional and intuitional growth if you'd like a more precise personal reading please get in touch at greatmotherspeaks.info but above all and most of all remember great mother loves you and I do too